Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break, another Turn Back Tuesday baseball break. It's going to be a special one today. It's a product that I absolutely love and look forward to uh, each and every year when it's released. been buying this product for quite some time now. This one I've been blessed with uh, by just kind of being sponsored by the company here and they were able to actually pass one along for free to me to break on this channel and to show it uh, to you guys and get the kind of name out there and stuff because it's definitely an underrated box in my opinion as you guys can see or we'll see. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do the Universal Treasures uh, baseball box here. This is the new one from uh, 2021 here. just came out. I'm actually going to cut the cellophane out of the way here so we don't get all that glare. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about with this box. This has some really, really cool stuff. And it comes in a price tag of $135, um, which is actually a pretty, pretty good deal in my humble opinion. Uh, now, there's only 500 of these being made. This is, as you can see, number 104. The uh, seal shows it there. But anyway, it's a repack box, but it's a really cool one. So uh, you are going to get it's a three count here. I think it's rack packs maybe in this one. It says three counts. So I think there's three rack packs in here perhaps. Um, but anyway, 1975 to 1990 Topps baseball cards are all found in these. Uh, you can see some of the awesome cards that are pictured right there on the cover. Uh, this is the big thing, though, the real big chase uh, kind of thing here. So, rare one original tops Mickey Mantle card from 1959 to 1969 in every 50 boxes. So, simple math out of 500 boxes, there are 10 total Mickey Mantle cards floating around here from 59 to 69. Uh, so, that could be a really nice pull out of here as well. Like I said, $135. You're getting a total of 162 original cards. And you guys will see these cards are in really, uh, really good condition. They normally are. There's kind of the, the showcase at the bottom, by the way, of the Mickey Mantle cards, which would just be really, really cool uh, to pull one of those. But, yeah, guys, let's get right into this. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. I have done this before on this channel. I've done these on my own as well. Very awesome of the company to uh, go ahead and pass these along for me to uh, showcase on the channel. I'll let you guys check this out. And so it is a three comp because it is in the rack pack form again, I see, which they kind of stored these last year with the Halloween boxes. And I, I do like these uh, for sure. These are actually pretty cool. Um, and in all honesty, guys, let me pause this very quickly and grab a pair of scissors. I forgot scissors. I do want to use scissors and not kind of the utility blade that I was using here to uh, cut these open so that we can give these cards the proper care they deserve. So hold on one sec. Okay, guys, we're back and with some scissors here to hopefully make this a little bit easier. And not damage the card so you guys can see i'll kind of unveil one of these rack packs how it goes it's actually a two-tiered rack pack and not a three-tiered one it's totally cool though so as you can see you got 54 cards in each one of these rack packs here um so kind of two of these here and some nice ones right there you got an 86 keith hernandez you got an 87 jose canseco rookie cup card so that's pretty cool uh right there and actually it's just curious if they we're kind of perforated to tear, not so much. So let's go ahead and use these scissors. Get a little cut on these. Of course, I must have picked the dullest scissors in the world as far as being able to cut these open. I don't think I could have picked a worse pair, apparently. Let me pull this back, actually, so I don't knock the camera over here. Make it a little bit easier. I'll just do it like that. All right, I think I have a cut enough now that I'll be able to work with it. All right, so let's pull this bad boy open and see exactly what we have in our first rack pack here. So like I said, the 87 Canseco right off the bat's a nice card right there. And you can see the condition. Like I said, the cards are in really, really good condition normally in here. So that is some pretty cool stuff. I mean, that's like pack fresh. Um, and a lot of these are going to seem pack fresh. You'll see here uh, as we go through. But here's a 1980... Uh, Brewers Prospects card there. Or no, actually, that's a 79. I was going to say, it didn't look like the 80 design, but uh, 79 Brewers Prospects card there. It's pretty cool. Eddie Romero, nice feature one right there. We got a nice Bobby Boone there from 1981. Very nice. Uh, nice card behind it. The Future Stars card there was Sandy Alomar. Really, really good stuff. Don Sutton, that's a nice one right there. Donnie Sutton. Super veteran card, nice kind of comparison photos you guys can see. And once again, very, very crisp corners and everything else. I mean, look at the front and the back of that card. Really, really good shape. Good stuff. 
very very nice from 83 tops another 87 we got a bill mooneyham oh there's a nice roger clemens one of the most desirable ones from the 86 uh, design for sure nice condition a little bit maybe off center top to bottom there but that's okay very very nice stuff right there cool set that in a good pile there for sure del unser very cool also will clark we got a nice eric anthony in the 90 tops future stars card pretty cool mike schmidt very very cool to pull mike schmidt <coughs> excuse me guys in the 84 or is that 85 actually sorry 85 design i should remember that from 2020 and they did the throwback with that very nice mike schmidt 85 there's going to be a nice 1980 Buckos team card right there. Mike Dunn, I got a little bit excited there for a second when I saw that coming up. I thought maybe that was the Mark McGuire. But the uh, USA Baseball right there from Mike Dunn. Got an 84 Butch Weiniger. Oh, there's a nice one. Heck yeah, I'll take that all day long. Look at that. Your 77 strikeout leaders, Phil Necro and Nolan Ryan. You guys can just see the Christmas, crispness of that card, not Christmas. Crispness of that card. Really, really nice. I mean, look at the corners and everything. I mean, that is a good condition card. Nice. Nice one there. I'll set that aside. Craig Mineta. Nice Bob Watson. Jody Reed. You got 75 Rick Auerbach. Ricky Henderson. In the 84 design there, one of the uh, batting and pitching leaders cards there with Tim Conroy. Gary Templeton in the 79 design. Darren Dalton, 90. Nice Tom Lasorda, look at that. As player, as manager comparison card right there. And again, very crisp. I just can't get over how crisp these cards are. It's just crazy how nice these uh, the condition is of these cards. But there you go. Floyd Rayford. 86 of Tom Seaver. Very nice. That'll be, uh, what, 1974? No, 76. 76. Yeah. 75 Pat Dobson. And a nice Mike Caldwell. All right. So, first part of rack pack number one. I actually think I'm going to use the utility blade now that I have a gap. I think I can actually kind of. Yeah, there we go. I think I can pull that back. I think I did that right. Should just give these scissors like i said i apologize guys but i apparently picked the uh dullest scissors in the world i'm not gonna make you guys wait while i try to just look for more and more scissors here as long as i give care to the card that's all i'm worried about here and i don't ding them up it's the main thing all right all right so an 86 keith hernandez like we saw already a nice uh john candelaria from 79 for the buckos there nice ryan sandberg very nice in the 84 heck yeah i'll take that all day long very, very nice Ryan Sandberg right there. Set that in a good pile. Jamie Quirk in the 80s, 80 design. Gary Templeton. I always liked these uh, back when they had these in the 83. Uh, with kind of that kind of little mini photo that went with the others. An 87 Doc Gooden. Manny Trillo. Dwayne Ward. 75 Joe Ferguson. 90 Dave LaPointe. Carl Yastrzemski. It's pretty cool on the all-time greats there for sure. Cleaning off the old baseball bat. I like that one a lot. 81. Larry Gura. That's going to be, uh, I believe that's 1978. Yep. Alan Nipper in the 85 design. Jim Frey manager card there in the uh, 84 design. There's an older school there. Joe uh, Wallace. It should be, what is that, 1973? Maybe? No. 77. Yeah, 77 on that one. Rod Carew, very nice Rod Carew. All-star card there. Andre Dawson, really, really nice. Luke Walker in the 75. A Rusty Staub, 80. A 1990 Carlton Fisk towards the end of the career. There we go. An Eddie Murray rookie card right there. Very nice. 78 tops. Eddie Murray rookie card. Nice. Centering's a little bit off, but who cares? Eddie Murray rookie cards. Not every day you pull one of those. Nice crisp uh, edges and corners look actually pretty good on that card. The centering looks to be the only thing that's really off on that. So that's a that's a nice pull. 
Phil Necro in the 86 design. Man, look at Phil there. Boy, he was up there in age at that time. That's for sure. Holy smokes. All right, 1981, Rick Sofield. Dwight Evans in the 87. Uh, we got one of those Reggie Jackson super veteran cards there, the comparison with the Lindy McDaniel 75. Jose Aileen, remember him with the Buccos quite, uh, quite well in the 89 design there. All right, rack pack number two. Ooh, Carlton Fisk in the 78. It's a nice one right there. Don August. Baseball. Sweet. All right, pulling it back just to open this, like I said, guys, just because I don't want to knock the tripod over, and I also don't want to damage the cards. So it's a little bit easier actually doing that back here. Behind the camera. All right, let's pull the first part of this rack pack out. So we start with that 84 uh, baseball, USA Baseball, Don August. Uh, 80, Jerry Augustine. Nice Aussie Smith in the, uh, what is that, 80, 80, my gosh, 81. I keep forgetting that for some reason. There's an 81 Future Stars there, Marty Bystrom. Probably the best one on there, at least in my opinion. Bill Duran in the 87. Nice 84, Ricky Henderson. There's another nice old school, Andy Hassler. Very nice. Joe Torrey, manager card. Wow, look at him there for the Braves in that 84 card. That's pretty cool. Keith Hughes. Uh, Dave Chalk in the 82 design there. Ricky Horton. Tony La Russa manager card there. Uh, Tony Gwynn, nice. Tony Gwynn in the 86. That's a pretty cool one. Bill Sudeikis in the 75. Brian uh, Dayett in this, the uh, 85. Harold Baines, 83. That's a nice one as well. Jason Thompson in the 79. Nice Eddie Murray in the 87. 90 uh, of uh, Paul Coleman. 78 Pete Rose. That's a nice one right there. 78 Pete Rose. Record break record there. We'll put that in the good pile. Oh, there's a nice one. I like that one a lot. Uh, just because I'm big big fans of both of these players. So Phil Necro and Dale Murphy both on the same card. That's pretty cool. 82 batting and pitching leaders card there. That's a pretty cool one. Harold Reynolds in the 86 design. Uh, Tim Leary. We got an 80 twins card. Oral Hershiser in the 86. That thought that was traded, but it's not. Uh, we got Ozzy Smith, and then we got the 83 Alan Trammell, uh, which is also a pretty nice card. All right, let's get the bottom half of this rack pack. Halfway done with this break. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this product. Let me know if you've also ever bought and uh, opened this before. I, like I said, I have, and uh, even though this was provided by the company, uh, as non-biased as I can tell you, I've had really, really good luck with this product for sure. I've gotten some really, really cool stuff out of this in the past. I, I used to buy these all the time, so uh, I can tell you the boxes in comparison were the same. Just really, really good stuff. So there's that nice Carlton Fisk. Very, very nice uh, card there in that 78 design. Got Jerry Royce there in the 80. Bo Jackson. Nice. Bo knows, right? Bo knows baseball and everything. Nice. That's a pretty cool card there. I like that a lot. Uh, Jim Wolford in the 81 there as well. Chris Code Coder Yoli. Not sure about him in the 87. Nice Dale Murphy there in the 84. Heck yeah, Dale Murphy All Star card. Nice stuff. I like that one. I'm going to put that in my good pal too. Johnny Grubb. Then we got a Lou Pinella uh, from 86. Bill Madlock. Al Holland in the 83. John Smiley. 90. Jose Uribe. George Brett in the 86. That's a nice one. 75, Paul Blair. 84, Pedro Guerrero. We've got a nice one here. Let's see if Rod Carew. Nice. Rod Carew and Ken Forsh. 81 batting and pitching leaders for the Angels. It's nice looking stuff right there for that 82. Joel Youngblood in the 79. We got Roger Clemens in the 86. This is another nice one, obviously, as well. George Scott, 75, a 78 Lee May. Nice Nolan Ryan. Uh, there were quite a few of these 5,000 cards in the 90 design there. I think there's like a six or seven card set of these. It's pretty cool. And nice Don Sutton there, another one of the all-time greats. Look at that. He was definitely up there in age in that 86 card there as well. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, leaders card there for the Royals. They got a 78 Bob Bailey, a 75 World Series card. That's pretty cool. Oh, baby, look at that. 
How about that? The Mark McGuire rookie card. The USA Baseball rookie card. Very nice. Very nice. And, you know, I'll show you guys the last one there, that 80 Bernie Carbo. Let's take a look at the Mark McGuire. Again, crisp, you know, edges and corners and stuff. Maybe that a little bit of fuzz in the top left corner, but nothing crazy. That is a good-looking card, guys. Good-looking card right there. Very, very nice stuff. That is a desirable card there from 85 Tops, the, uh, the USA Baseball Mark McGuire rookie card. Very nice stuff. And we still have one rack pack to go. Still got one to go. Let's see what our tease is for this one. We got a 75 Terry Forster, and we got Roberto Alomar hanging around right there uh, as well in the 88 design. All right. Let's give it a little cut. Open this kind of from the front and pull it back. Man, imagine pulling a mantle card on top of all these grapes that we pulled here. I, I can't believe it. I mean, it is such a good deal. All right, so Kip Young in the 80 design there. Cal Rip, or yeah, Cal Ripken. Very, very nice. 88 Cal Ripken. Nice stuff there. And 85 uh, Albert Hall. We got an 84 Randy Moffitt. 86 Greg Booker. Got a 78 Jim Rice. Andres Galarraga. That's a really nice 86 card right there. That's from Traded as well. That's going to be a rookie card. Andres Galarraga, rookie card from Topps Traded. Pretty nice stuff. Badly centered, as you can see, top to bottom, but uh, really, really nice stuff. That's a, for the good pals. Will. Bob Kipper, 87. We got a Bobby uh, Thigpen in the 88. Ken Brett hanging out there in the 82. Uh, let's see what we have here. We got an all time records holder Dutch Leonard and Walter Johnson. Season and career ERA leaders there. Uh, and that one is actually from 79 tops. John Hoover from the 85 tops, that USA Baseball again. An 84 Lou Whitaker, all-star card there. Robin Yount, 87, is very nice as well. There's a nice throwback card again for Frank uh, Tavares. That's really nice stuff there in the 77. Burt Blylevin and the 90 design. Elliot Maddox, 75 there. Johnny Bench, very nice. Johnny Bench, excellent stuff there. 1981 Johnny Bench. Put that in the good pile there, the all-star card that. Willie Randolph, I want to say that's 88, I believe. Take a look back at 88. I had to look up closer. Del Sweem uh, as well in the 89. Ron Karkovich in the 90. Champ Summer 79. Oh, there we go. Nolan Ryan in the 86. And that card is pretty nice looking. A little bit maybe in the top right. It's not going to be a PSA 10 or anything like that, but that is a nice Card, I believe that's actually the most expensive card you can actually pull out of uh, the basic 86 tops. Uh, even though it's not a rookie, obviously. I think that's the best card you can actually pull money-wise. Jack Brohammer. Uh, very nice as well here. Hanging out in the uh, 81 design. Bobby Bow in the 90. And then we got a 78. Billy Martin as manager, as player. Our last Rat Pack. Well, that's part of the rack pack, I should say. Let's pull this back, give it a little cut, get into this. Let's pull a Mickey Mantle. Oh my gosh. Let's pull a Mantle. All right, 75 design of Terry Forster. Uh, 1980 Roger Erickson. There's a nice base. Not the 5000 Club, but it's the base of uh, 1990 Nolan Ryan. That's a nice one to put in a good pile. Jim Morrison in the 84 design. The Kirby Puckett in 86. Heck yeah. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Steve Dunning, 78 right there. Earl Weaver, uh, I want to say it's 83. It looks like it's 83. Yeah, 83. Dave Parker in the 87. We got 88 record breakers. Benny Santiago, Benito Santiago. We got an 82 Bruce uh, Bereni. Oh, there we go. A nice 78 Willie McCovey. Heck yeah. 77 record breaker. Most times two home runs in an inning lifetime. Nice Willie McCovey right there. I'll take that bad boy for sure. Glenn Wilson in the 85. We got a Tom Lasorda. Tommy Lasorda there in the 84. Uh, Danny Frisella. Really, really good looking card right there as well in the 77. George Brett in the uh, 87 design right there. John Hart. Oh, there's a nice bucko, former bucko. Doc Ellis. Heck yeah. In the 75 design, that's going to go straight to the PC for sure. 
Just a little bit off center, obviously, but a really crisp card. I like that one a lot. 80, Steve Garvey, Terry Forster, Gary Carter. Getting down to it, Steve Yeager uh, in the 79. George Bell, 86. Mike Schmidt in the uh, 76. Mickey Hatcher and 75 rookie outfielders. Benny Ayala is going to be your best one there. We got Tommy Smith, Jerry Turner, Niels Nyman, but uh, Benny Ayala. Pretty cool right there. I'll put that in a good pile as well. Lou Whitaker and in the 83 design and Alfredo Griffin in the 86 design is going to round us out there. So some pretty cool cards, guys, as you could imagine. I mean, like I said, 135 bucks. You could pull a mantle. You know, not granted, it's not going to be the rookie, but, uh, I mean, you can get some really, really sick cards. I'll show you guys a really quick recap of just some of the ones I set in the good pile. You know, that Yastrzemski, the Yall we just did, the Doc Ellis, the Willie McCovey. Got the Nolan Ryan from the 90, the 86. We got Johnny Bench. Uh, very nice stuff there from the 81. Andres Galarraga, rookie from Traded. Mark McGuire, rookie, the USA Baseball rookie, that is. Don Sutton in the 86, 90. Nolan Ryan again. 81, uh, or no, I'm sorry, 82. Rod Carew, Ken Forsh. Dale Murphy in the 84. Carlton Fisk, 78. That Braves card there. Uh, Dale Murphy, Phil Necro. I think that was, what was that, 82 maybe? No, 83. The uh, 78 Pete Rose, record breaker. How about probably the, the pull of the break? The 78 Eddie Murray, rookie card. My gosh. Ryan Sandberg from, my gosh, 84. The Phil Necro, Nolan Ryan, 70, uh, 78. Roger Clemens from 86. I mean, just crazy cards, guys, that you can pull out of this. I love this product, guys. I love it. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever opened any of these boxes. Let me know the pulls that you got. Let me know if you pulled one, maybe one of the Mickey uh, Mantle cards. That would have been sick. I've seen them pulled before. I've never pulled one, but uh, I would love to pull one of those one of these days. I pulled cards actually in this product before. I think last year's Halloween box, I pulled cards all the way back to like 52 tops, which, you know, that's crazy in itself just to get a common from that. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a fun product, guys. And if you guys like this product, um, like I said, check it out. I'll put links in the description, of course. And we actually have a football box here we're going to be doing uh, as well. They were actually kind enough to provide us one of these to check out. So we'll do that here. Probably do that on a turn back Tuesday as well. But uh, definitely a fun fun rip. Uh, like I said, I know it's kind of repacked. But, I mean, this is as good as it gets for repacked, in my opinion. Uh, once again, 135 is the cost of this box. I will put links in the description to their website. You can check out any of their boxes and products. Because this is not all that they have. They put out a great product, though, um, for sure. All right, guys, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, other than the links to this product, you can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, I hope you have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.